So what is everyone drinking today? Uh, well, my husband just picked me up some coolers. So I got Smirnoff Berry Blast right here, but I do have some other ones in the fridge for later. <laughs> Very nice cl summer classic. Sonia? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just drinking coffee because I started working summer hours early morning at a craft fair. So uh, first time tomorrow. So I have to go there super early. So it's yay! It's super, so yay. I know and it's out it's outside. I'm so excited. Oh. Like and I get my own space so no one's gonna be close to me. It'll be safe. That I'm sounds so perfect. It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get some fresh air. Yeah. So it's just coffee today because I don't know how That's tired okay. I'll be we tomorrow. don't we don't peer pressure people. We to don't drink we don't okay. no, like people no, don't no. have to drink. No, they don't. Uh, Jessica, you're the only one drinking today. I hate to tell you, um, because I'm on antibiotics, so I'm just <laughs> drinking sparkling water. That's I have cool. no choice. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind being the only drunk friend. Okay. I hate being the only sober friend. Ah. Uh, yeah, I understand. Like you know, you so I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm having a good time. I'm not even going to care. Like, I'm going to be That's too right. drunk to notice. I will give a shit. That exactly. Is. All right. I'm unraveling the thing. Okay. The thing. <laughs> the, 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 the thing. Topic. The topic. Today's right. topic is. Today's topic. What is something that you considered a luxury, but you don't think you could live without it? Like, it's not a need. It's a luxury item, but you can't yeah. live without it. And what's our word? Yeah, we don't answer <laughs> No, no, I, I have an answer already, but I want to do this right. I just <laughs> lost it. I have to pick a new word because I just... I, I can't think. Let me think anyway. So, yeah, you oh, I, I got the word. one, so don't even... Wait, don't even... It's, I got them in these pill bottles, and there's, like, child safety on them. It's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find a child. <laughs> oh, yeah. They open anything. Oh, the word is out. Okay. Out. 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 Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, Jessica, since you're so pumped. Okay, well, because I've only had one for about five years. And, um, uh, yeah, my dishwasher. <laughs> I thought you were going to say dildo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've had that. I've had I've had those for over. Oh, that's a need. What are you talking about? That's not a luxury. That's like, like that's a necessity. You no. just got a Dish favorite one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had a favorite, and it was just got it five years ago. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't okay, your dishwasher. I just got so excited. I know. I was like, "What? We can talk about that." But no, you talk about your dishwasher. It's cool. It's I'm cool. just saying. Like, okay, so growing up, I didn't have a dishwasher, um, and uh, as the <laughs> oldest daughter, I became. The dishwasher. The dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, spent my childhood and stuff until I was living on my own, which I also was dishwashing. And then I worked a job at a fast food place where I also washed dishes. And it is very hard to always wash dishes for me because of my skin. So then once, because it's sensitive and whatever. So once I yeah. got my dishwasher, oh, <laughs> like... <laughs> I the fact that I have the only thing I have to hand wash is like certain pans and my knives and then the rest it just goes in my dishwasher and I don't even have to worry about I don't have to touch it it's like a five <laughs> second job from like a 20 minute job or whatever so my dishwasher yeah, that's is my luxury item <laughs> I, I can't I do went, a dishwasher if um, I went so... to a deserted island dude, I would bring my dishwasher <laughs> <Get a backpack>. See? <laughs> <laughs> so I have one I I bought one, like a spare, like the, you know, the countertop roll up, whatever. Um, but it would take an hour for dishes to be done when I can do them in 20 minutes. And my hydro bill went up and I was like, mm -hmm. no. Like, so I do them by hand just because I'm impatient. See, for me, it's more like I put them in and then I can go do something else. Yeah. Versus spending that time washing the dishes. Yeah. So See, for me, I don't mind if it takes longer because then I just spend that time doing something else. So it's like, it, it's funny how like we're both like, you rather just get them done. And me, I'm like, yeah, yeah they'll get done eventually. 
And no, like, I don't know. I'd just rather do it in the 20 minutes and yeah. then, like, have my washer and dryer doing their thing instead. I don't know. No, it makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess where you would, like, your dishwasher would be my washer and dryer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God, don't even get me started yeah. on laundry. We need a folding yeah, machine already. Laundry. They have well, them. I'm... We're just not rich enough to buy them. Yeah, and they probably yeah. are slow as hell. <laughs> yeah. But... We just need people listen to our streams, guys. A hundred So that we can times. buy a folding so... machine. So we don't have to yeah. oh, oh my gosh. And we can like pass it around like Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. And it folds all of our clothes. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and then can the clothes it folds together? are good luck. Yeah. That's a yeah. great idea. <laughs> it's fantastic. Holding machine of wait. Wait, how do I? The folding machine the traveling. The traveling like, folding not, machine. right? And the traveling pants. <laughs> wait, the sisterhood of the folding machine. There we there go. There we go. Fantastic. Of the traveling folding machine. Yeah. Yeah. Or guys, listen to me. We could live together and have a giant room for our shared closet, which has our washing and drying and folding machine. Yes. We like, gotta have we like two washers, two dryers, one folding machine. Yeah. You we know. could do yeah. that. Yeah. No, our I'm community totally mansion? up for the com I'm totally up for the commune. Like I'm totally yeah. there. Just once you have my uh my settlement built, let me know and I will be down. <laughs> yeah. All right, perfect. That's the Sounds plan. good. That's our retirement plan. <laughs> yeah, retirement that's pretty plan. much it. I feel like that's every millennial's retirement plan is just getting a community as they're getting older so that they can all live in a commune when they're retired. Like everyone's just kind of grabbing all their friends and just being like, okay, okay. That's why I feel like that's why more people are, are poly and more people are, you know, not having children and stuff like that because they're just all going to live with their old friends when they're older. They don't want to worry about kids. No. Well, like, when I was a kid, the first thing I said to Sonia was, like, when we grow up, we're going to live together. And she was like, yeah. <laughs> and there was a small time we actually did live together. But yeah. for the most part, we moved in with our husbands. Right? Uh, gross. They ruined <laughs> and had fucking kids. Gross. Uh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Those mistakes are made, okay? Like, that's what life is all about. It's about Red flag. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> learning from those mistakes. So, like, Next time, don't get married and don't have kids. Okay. Yeah. Next time. Next time. Next time. <laughs> Next yeah. life. Just don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Or well, abandon well, maybe... your husband and children and just go and run away. Yeah. At the very least, when we move in together, then our husbands can just be friends, and then we don't have to deal with that. I, I love the when, not if. It's a when. It's, <laughs> it's going happening. to happen. It's yeah, no. Th happening. This is my retirement plan. Like, I'm not <laughs> saving for it. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> saving for it. It's just gonna happen. Yeah. Well, how we only have like ten more years, guys. Like, I don't know what you. When ten more you years. We'd only be in our forties. <laughs> Like forty? Isn't that how old? Is that if you just no. feel so much older? No, it's sixty-five. Is retirement age what? generally um, earlier oh. if you get a got a really good 55, job? Really yeah, young. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm just so old already. I'm ready to retire. I just <laughs> that's what I've been saying. I'm like okay, so I'm like thirty-one, and I can't help but think like, how do people live to eighty? Like, 50 more years seems ridiculous. <laughs> it does. <laughs> like, I've only done 31. Another 50? Like, I... That seems like a long time. <laughs> it is. It'll go by quick. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> these past anyway. 35 years went by really freaking quick for me. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, like, I'm really? middle age now. When the fuck did that happen? Oh my I God, am the so adult. Slow. It's so slow for me. It's <laughs> like... I'm like, I'm only 31. Only? only? I feel like I've lived 45 years. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. But I do feel like I'm 45 at 35, and I'm all like, uh. I think it's like a child of trauma kind of response. Too. Yeah. Like you have yeah. to grow up so fucking early. Like, a lot of yeah. people are like 29, and they're like, whoo, still young, whatever. But like, yeah. I've been an adult since I was seven. Yep. <laughs> it's not fun. No. No, it's not. 
raising babies at that age too like yeah, yeah you're raising, raising your little kids. sisters and well, mm -hmm. I heard something um, earlier where it was like uh, kids born in like the the like eighties nineties were the parentless generation because our parents just really weren't involved. It was our grandparents generally, um, yeah. or like other people in the community that you know. And now those grandparents aren't involved with their grandchildren either. <laughs> it's yeah, so it's true. Like our generation is having to do all the parenting. Because yeah. we're not reaping the benefits of our parents when yeah. it came to us. Yeah. Yeah, we had to yeah. parent ourselves. But it's like, uh, I I thought, like, I remember my early 20s. I just remember thinking, like, oh, I must be the only one that's had to do this. And now it's like, no, no. everyone in my age bracket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, we got lucky. Uh, we had, like, a really strong support system. Like, even my oldest, their grandma was super involved, like, would go all the time. And then other kids' grandparents super involved so I could, like, finish school and get a career, all that fun stuff. So I got lucky. That's <laughs> but, really, like, really good. Yeah. It wasn't my parents or grandparents. It was, it was <laughs> well, other people's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it couldn't be both, statistically. No. Yeah, it wasn't, like, my mom or whatever, but um, Dave's uh, mom, she was really involved with Nicholas. Uh, well, I had him at 19, so, and my mom already, like, passed away at this point. Yeah. So, yeah, she kind of really helped out, and it was, it was a relief, because at 19, I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. Oh, I no, should have I been had... a parent. I had no business being a mom. None. I had Ernest at 19 and, like, same. And, like, for me, I was just like, okay, I have baby. Well, no, graduate high school, have baby, go to university. Like, that was, it was like, I, I just didn't, it was hard for me to conceptualize, like, a baby. Yeah. <laughs> like, until it was there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's like, while I was pregnant, I was like, ah, oh, everything's cool. And then it was like. I did not prepare for this, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. That, was, that was me at 19. But yeah, like, um, with Ernest, I didn't really have any on either side. Like, my uh, ex and me really didn't have any family support. But, like, Chris's side, Chris's parents, like, help us. My husband's parents, for the listeners out there. Uh, <laughs> like, they're they're super involved. And they're, yeah. they, they were super involved parents, too. So um you know we're thankful for that so <laughs> i like yeah. that we were all like children of like trauma growing up but then we married like sort of stable husbands with like supportive families like you know <laughs> yeah. we, we like we seeked out what we were lacking so, yeah so basically yeah <laughs> yeah we and like, then oh, we man. met each other and then we met each other mm -hmm. oh, what'd you, <laughs> what'd you, you do me? can you hear me hello i yeah i went to get comfortable and i fucking drop kicked my desk what is that oh um fuck the computer you know <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the the square uh the i have tower? a fruit fly that's yeah. like flying around my room i know i see it i've been watching i it. know okay yeah. so i think <laughs> caleb hid a banana peel somewhere and that's why it's happening like this kid <laughs> freaking hides okay <clears throat> so every time i touch something there's peanut butter on it like in my house my kid will eat until the crust, and then he hides the crust in my house. So everything I touch has peanut butter. I'm lifting up the bed. There's pieces of peanut butter sandwich. I'm <laughs> going to the sink. There's peanut butter on it. Walking down the stairs, touch the railing, peanut butter. So there's a fruit fly around because there's food all over my place now. We well, have, like... Butlers. Yeah. yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. Like, Lyric does the exact same thing. We just have her food confined to the living room. So we know if she hid food, it's in the living room. Like, but our like our living room's fairly big, and her toy section is in there, and it could be in the bottom of her million full toy box. But we know it's in that room because <laughs> she doesn't. Yeah, the same no. He likes to like everywhere. grab his food and like run with it. Like he just takes <laughs> off, and I'm like, where's the little shit now? And it's just going to hide nope. food. So if you have a peanut allergy, do not come to my house. My kid will kill you. She put like a sign that says that exact thing. If you have yeah, a peanut like allergy, my kid is trying to give you anaphylactic shock. House. My Don't kid come will over. kill you. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. my kid's an asshole in, like that. Back in the day, I started writing like a parenting book, and like 
the title was like, oh, don't sit there. I don't trust it. My kid was just there. Like that yeah. was the working title. Yeah. I still haven't finished it. <laughs> you should. I, I have a couple like parenting books from like some comedian. I can't remember. But like one the one book was called like um I love my little assholes or something like that because <laughs> like that's or the it's a comedy book and it's all about how like sometimes you just have to let your assholes be assholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, when I stopped, it's like... I stopped working, and so when I start staying home, I just did a little blog. It was called Stay at Home Mom Danya, and I just would post like random shit, like day number thirty five. Uh, my kid ate off the floor, but at least he's eating. Like you know stuff like that. Yeah. Some parents yeah, need that. that on because, Facebook. Like, I well, did, yeah. I and I like, stopped. <laughs> I just feel like parents like are constantly seeing all these like influencer moms that kind of like are like or or the or the new thing, the crunchy mom, you know, <laughs> where they're just kind of like I'm like, you can homeschool and you can do like I do that. I'm not like my kid only eats granola and we walk around barefoot everywhere. Like that's a little far for me. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> like, um, but it's just, it's really hard when like, you're always comparing yourself to these moms that like always look good, always look like they are held together when like you feel like you're doing a bad job. So seeing yeah, like normal yeah. posts, <laughs> yeah. you know, like yeah. my kid ate off the floor, like you're like, ah, so at least he's eating like yeah 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 no Ew. yeah we're like we're pretty i thought we were like crunchy because like we're all like uh peace no. and love and like we're hippies but we're also like no we call nice. our children assholes we are not yeah. crunchy no i let like my my own like home unit right like we're very yeah. like you like love thy neighbor bullshit and like but then we're always like but for like oh like immunizations and wash your fucking hands, wear a mask, and like I saying a lot of like I'm thank goodness I'm gonna say like word. yeah That's I wouldn't say, word today. say that word <laughs> compared to what crunchy is now like yeah, yeah you're not you don't fit they they've gone mm -hmm. way off <laughs> yeah no and we were always like we like we only work to live we don't live to work like we're like. That's not like it's we're against the man. We want to grow our own food, live off the land, help others. Like I thought we were You're crunchy, very close apparently. to crunchy, but no, you're not crunchy. Yeah. I wear shoes in stores. <laughs> <Good> for you. <laughs> you right? don't free bleed. That's another thing. Like that's a huge crunchy thing. Free that's, bleeding. That's the, like people live their own lives, but like you I don't walk care around people with free bleed bleeding. in their own house. Yeah, like, no, we have, no, that's fine. Let's fucking do it. Like, yeah, and, you know, I don't care. It's when it's like a public, and, and that's it's not even my like, problem. And I'm not even personally worried about a lot of the sanitary stuff about it because it'd be really hard for it to like really affect you unless you're like putting your face in it, <laughs> right? Just but eating. it's more like it's literally damaging public property. It's yeah, yeah, public yeah. property. Yeah. Like it's not you can't just like you can't. <laughs> it's graffiti. Like I don't. <laughs> by your body yeah. yeah you know and i'm just saying like that's not that's not a very societal thing to do right you yeah. know if, if you want to if you want to advocate it? for like free be bleeding spaces in certain public things then uh, do you try try that maybe but don't just free bleed everywhere like we're not all consenting to it but yeah i have no issue with free bleeding in general i mean you know i don't have an issue with it either i personally couldn't do it like to sit in it like I do it I mean, sometimes it's on like my last day where I'm just like spotting and I'm like eh, Yeah. <laughs> well yeah, like let my underwear I'll change my underwear a few times and then that's that. But I mean I can do a pad, but I don't know, like just sitting in like wet pants, just the idea just bothers yeah. me. I don't well, know that, why. Uh, that company Nix, they are amazing. I yeah. use them because I wanted to not have so much garbage going into whatever, yeah. right? And um yeah. It's fucking amazing. Um, they hold so much and like there's no weird smell. I don't know why there's weird smells, but sometimes people have weird smells, right? Yes. There's no weird smells or anything. Um, there's it's your pH balance that makes yeah. it. Yeah, there's yeah. no like um no leaking. Uh even like you can touch it and like it's not it doesn't what is that transfer? There's like yeah, minimal transfer yeah. and like 
you just change your underwear and then wash it. Like you just, I just, yeah. I put them in their own little bin and then I like wash them in cold and then hang dry. Like they're amazing. I yeah. Well, I mean, they're great. Like even for like disabled, um, like disabled people, like yeah. that's one reason they were really, really useful is because some people cannot change themselves all the time. Yeah. And like, I've even been thinking like, you know, like my daughter's only uh, turning four, but I'm like, when she's older, what kind of method would we try to like help her with? And I feel like yeah. products like NYX are like really, really like easy to understand, easy to use, easy to like clean and environmentally friendly. Yeah. Yeah. And like, yeah. Oh, that, what a like, luxury item. It is a luxury that item. <laughs> it is. Yeah. That I can't live without is period underwear like that I love yes. it so much I like I like the diva cups are like amazing but like I I have yet to try one I, have I keep yet to thinking try about one. it I'm not shaped that way everyone has different shaped vaginas true the whole thing is different they have different and shaped uh, cups now there's a whole bunch of different ones it does I've used so many none of them work and so the companies are like, oh, one, like it'll work, whatever, but it doesn't. So no. don't feel no. pressured. If you think Susie can use one, it doesn't mean you can. Like it's just everyone's shaped differently. And yeah, and it's up to your own comfort, right? I like if you don't like, feel comfortable. Okay. I'm, I've never liked tampons. I don't mm -hmm. like insert and they are uncomfortable them. to me and like I've inserted mm -hmm. them properly to where you don't feel it or whatever but yeah. putting it in pulling it out like that it's uncomfortable I do not like it um uh especially on like your last days you know it's really yeah. uncomfortable to pull it's out. like fucking sand oh, yeah, right. I know <laughs> and then like, you have to really tug and you're like I'm... shit am I gonna break the string is it gonna get stuck like oh I don't even fear that about the tampon I fear that I'm gonna prolapse I'm like, all my organs are coming out <laughs> yeah. this. Right? You're just like, all of a sudden, you're going to have an Audi. Like, yeah. that's what it's like. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I only use them if I'm, like, swimming. <laughs> and that is it. <laughs> I have, yeah. I have yeah. one box that I just keep for, like, the summer. And that's it. <laughs> no, I just... No, they're... I rotate. Like, you rotate? Yeah, I rotate Where between pads and tampons. Um... Like, I have to still wear a pad if I have a tampon if it's a heavy flow. Like, there's no way because within a half an hour, that tampon's going to be full. And that's the super one. And I'm just like, okay. So, I, I'll just use a pad then because there's no point. Because, yeah. Being a woman sucks. Yeah. I hate... We like, just lost all men listeners if we had I, them. Just saying. We, I don't even think... Not, not, not the any. curious ones. Right. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not Jessica's husband. Oh, yeah, he listens every Friday. <laughs> Hi, Chris. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's uh, although we do talk about a lot of, like, feminine-focused things. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think there's enough talking about those no. things on any platform. Sure, people make, like, little jokes or something about it, but I don't think there's enough focus. Well, and I feel like topic. we give, like, a variety of perspectives, and um, we also we also try to gauge it from all sides, too. Like, we talk about the other arguments sometimes and why we disagree <laughs> yeah. with them. Um, yeah. And then, like, just even this conversation, we're all just talking about, like, which methods we prefer, you yeah. know? Like, and, and we, all and we don't all agree different. on them. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I feel like that's, that's, that's good for our listeners to get a lot of perspective, because... Yeah. You know, Perspective. So was period underwear your uh, luxury, Sonia? That no, you can't live without? Up, it just ended up being my actual oh. luxury item is internet. Yes, internet. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> this podcast. Uh, that's almost now a basic without need. It. <laughs> Honestly, that's become a basic need now. Like everything needs internet. So I can have something else. Like yeah, you can have something else. Because it's just a topic. We're just all talking. Right? We're just talking. I, no rules. No rules. No rules. No but, rules, but know. yes, you may have another one. That was, I was waiting for that one. So oh, now, okay. you made me have to think about something else. Okay, oh, you, you don't, don't have you to. Get to keep that talk one. about internet. <laughs> yeah. The internet's internet. big. I mean, how am I going to bring that to an island? You can't. Well, Jessica's yeah. bringing her uh, yeah, Wi-Fi. <laughs> uh, Elon Musk made like satellites. Oh sure. yeah, I mean, he I didn't had... make them. He paid for them he, to be made. He paid for somebody else. To be <laughs> yeah, but you know, I have the internet, 
And yeah. like playing games is really hard sometimes because the, it shifts the IP address really quickly, which a lot of like hackers, pirates kind of do. So like you can't ping their IP, but yeah. like a game will be like, hey, you're cheating, you fucking bitch. I'm like, I'm not oh. cheating. <laughs> Just let me play the game. And then it like freezes for an hour because they think I'm being bad. <laughs> you're a bad girl, <laughs> naughty. That mm. sucks. Like, it works most of the time, and that's great, but not when I went playing mobile games <laughs> on my phone. I don't play a lot of mobile games on my phone. Uh, BitLife? I, 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 I haven't played it in a year. <laughs> uh, I, I was playing it today, actually. Um, I oh, yeah? Team, <clears throat> I was a rock star. <clears throat> <laughs> and uh, I was always on tour. And I kept cheating on my husband, nice. and I had an affair with my um, professor, and so I got pregnant by my professor, and rock? my husband stayed because <laughs> I was a rock star still. So, like, you know, he wants to keep that life going, and yeah. uh, we had a threesome, and then he left me for the person with a threesome, and then I had to give him half my money. It was, it was bullshit. <laughs> That's amazing. And then I went back to my professor who was like 90 and he got me pregnant. It was it was good times. I hate all while I was making 100 old million. Firm works for so long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well that's what I'm saying. They're they're blaming women who can only get pregnant up until a certain point, but men can knock anyone up for like as long as they can get an erection and come. Even then, you can like prop it up with a stick or some bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, you know, men, men can, I mean, there's medicine to make them be able to. Yeah. So it's like, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, maybe we're I'm just... in the wrong people. Well, my, we favorite, my favorite sperm fact, though, is the fact that they have odor receptors, which means oh. sperm have a sense of smell. <laughs> so is that how they find so the So technically eggs? they're already that is alive. That's how they find the egg. Yeah. That's how they find where to go. Because they're like... <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> if you want to see what a sperm looks like <laughs> it's smelling its way into your womb, watch our unedited episodes on YouTube <laughs> on Saturday. Watch them wiggle. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> I oh. think you should teach sex ed, and that should be on there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Once I did, um, I had a, a, a guy friend who um, got his ex-girlfriend pregnant. And so they were planning on co-parenting. Like, everything was copacetic. Copacetic? I don't remember what that word <laughs> I think that's you know, the word. You know, the word. Um, the word. <laughs> and uh, so I was like, sweet, I could throw you your own baby shower and we can drink. Like, that was perfect. And so I made a pin the sperm on the egg. And we all got like blindfolded after a bunch of shots to pin a sperm on the egg, and we we won mini bottles of liquor. Did you use your nose? No, no, I I cut out sperm. Like you, <laughs> you took the sperm and you had to pin it on the egg that was on the wall. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was, we just talked about. <laughs> she was smelling. hoping that you would pin it with your nose instead of your hand, oh. like Will. Like, <laughs> like, no, no, I didn't learn that fact yet. <laughs> I didn't learn it yet. I was I was naive and uneducated at that point in my life. I didn't know sperm smelled. They have a nose. <laughs> the, the cocaine. Like, I can oh, find did you it. see that video of Amber Heard? Oh God, yes, with the tissue, and she's like this, and then yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think she saying. did do a bump, but no, like I think it was something to help her cry. I think, yeah, I think she was, like, <laughs> stuffing, like, something wet was on her tissue already, and she was, like, this to make her cry, like. Yeah, I think it was, like, maybe, like, peppermint oil or something. Like, something. Yeah. Something yeah. Something your water, your ice water. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It definitely was. It wasn't cocaine, like, they all were thinking, no. But she I definitely mean, was would, doing something. I mean, I'm not gonna rule it out. I wasn't there. I'm not the tissue. But. <laughs> I'm not the <laughs> tissue. I can't speak. I wasn't up her I'm nose or anything. It's probably more likely something to make her cry. Yeah. <laughs> the the whole trial is fucking ridiculous. I don't understand oh. how they're on like day 40 or some bullshit. Because they I both like get it. two weeks of just constant testimony. Yeah. And, and it's and just a bunch of rambling half the time. I'm like, what the fuck is even going on? What was the question? It's I don't even they, know. 
they have to talk about 14 specific incidences in which the violence from Johnny happened. So there's 14 listed incidences and they have to go over the testimony for each one of those. And so that's one reason it's taking so long. They have like 500 like things of proof. Like they don't do murder trials this extensive. You know, like- you got to remember, <laughs> like Amber Heard won this exact like this trial. Yeah, in, in the UK. London. Yeah, so she's won this trial, and they're just retrialing it in the U.S. because of the uh, bias of the judge in the U.K. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I, it, it's it- a it's a it's a legal mess, and neither one of them is good in this. <laughs> I'm just no. saying, I want to play. I'm a no sider, but Johnny yeah. should win this case. Yeah. Because yeah. she did I'm defame no him with lies. So Johnny point, should win right? this case, doesn't make him a good guy. But that video of Amber Heard made me laugh. This just so insane. And like, it just feels like they're, they like are practicing a script they made. Like, and then who's okay, her legal team? They, they can't be real. The they honestly TV can't movie. be. <laughs> they're like b-list I, actors i i can't what believe mean. her lawyers they're just i just love, love how many people. times they object like uh johnny's lawyers object to, like everything like object mm-hmm. object hearsay object For everything yeah. hearsay. answered object <laughs> like i don't think they actually relevant. went to law school like they're just shouting like there was one where like a doctor is trying to like read regulate like the rec- their uh, whatever that fucking word i can't talk uh read and remember uh, what happened and they're like oh that's hearsay and she's like well these are like my notes of like remembering so, yeah it would be hearsay yeah. and that's the purpose no like- right but like but no here hearsay is like he said sh- he said she said, said she right said. Yeah. yeah but like she's like okay so i can look down and, but look at you to talk, and then it's not no longer hearsay. And they're like, "Yeah, like how is that? <laughs> Why are you so dumb?" My my favorite is Herd's lawyers basically just asking Johnny to read the text messages, or well, no, to co- agree that they read the text messages. Oh yeah, correctly. he got really cocky during that though. He was all well, like, "Yeah, you read that really well." And I was well, like, it's because shit. Was, they kept asking him. They read it, and they're like, "Is that correct?" And he's just like. Yeah, yeah, like, you did a right good there, job there, buddy. Like, yeah, and they asked him so many times. At that point, he was just like, "Yes, you did a good job." Yeah. <laughs> like, did you I don't know. Is that what a Johnny Depp? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good job, you. You're so yeah. amazing. <laughs> that whole case, though, it's just ah. Uh, Thank it's God tiring. for the internet, so we can watch it. That's right. Yes. See, a luxury item we get to watch. <laughs> the fucking craziness. I, yes. I don't even have cable anymore. It's all streaming do I. services. If I lose internet, I'm fucked. Same. <laughs> yeah. No, my kid will lose his shit. He can't watch Paw Patrol. Actually, he doesn't watch Paw Patrol anymore. It's um, Hotel Transylvania is his new thing. So, Prime. If I lose Prime, I'm fucked. <laughs> we, have like, we have well, like yes, 10 but... episodes um, downloaded from Netflix on each one of uh, Lyric's uh, tablets just yeah. in case the power goes out because <laughs> she will lose her shit. And it's not perfect because it might not be what she wanted to watch at that point, but it buys us some time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have an, You know those portable DVD players? Yes. Well, I had to go to camp one time and take Kale up and he was obsessed with Paw Patrol. And I was like, there's no internet out there. So what we did is we had those old DVD players and I bought DVDs of Paw Patrol and I was like, fuck it. And we took that. And that's you how we survived a week do. at camp. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Smart. I remember. Oh, I remember <clears throat> having them on like uh, back in the day when all the kids were little and we would like road trip to New Brunswick. And um, now I live here. It's fantastic. <laughs> I don't have to go on vacation anymore. Um, so we would just live in the van for like a week with like three little kids. Constantine always stayed home. And we just have the DVD players that's stick on the back of the van because we don't want to have to deal with our kids crying the whole time. True. <laughs> Who wants yeah. to deal with that? Like, it's 18 hours to fucking get here. Like, <laughs> just yeah. Nobody has time for that. Like, fucking NyQuil, melatonin, whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Drug those kids. <clears throat> 
yeah. this is a joke, everyone. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're not actually telling you to drug <laughs> oh your my kids. Gosh. I tell but we're everyone, not judging if you do. <laughs> right? I tell everyone, fucking NyQuil. Your kid's crying? NyQuil. I probably... <laughs> Melatonin! Thank God. Child services have never showed up on my door. What? I, I, I had the them once. I had them two, once. No one takes me seriously. During, like, the custody with my oldest, my ex, of course, like, called. And then they were like, so... He's worried you can't afford to like feed your kid and you're living in squalor. And I was like, okay, well, first off, I had to move into my mom's because he was harassing my apartment. And second, he hasn't seen the kid in five months, nor has he paid child support. <laughs> so if he was that worried, da -da -da, you know, and then <laughs> yeah. they just left me alone. <laughs> like they, that was it. They were just like, okay, that 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 makes sense. <laughs> and then they left. Yeah. No. <laughs> I think I had somebody come to my house once for me. And I was like, okay, um, I already know the rules because I'm a social worker and all that stuff. So how about we meet at your office because you don't have the right to come to my house. Pretty much. And then they stopped calling me yep. because you. No parents like, out there. No, you're right. Just know you're right. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. They do not have a warrant. You know, right? I, I, I brought them in. I didn't let them see my bedroom. Yeah. Because I was like, you don't need to see my bedroom. But I knew, like, a quick look around for me. It was just, like, easier just to get it done because I was in the middle yeah. of court. So, yeah. yeah. But I was like, don't look at my bed. You, what, what, you need to see my bedroom. No, no, no that's a private area. They can't. Yeah. They yeah, honestly they can't. Like, get, you know, if they don't have a warrant, they can't. They can't. No. Some, because w some workers are absolutely pieces of shit garbage. Yes. And they... And they power trip. They power trip. And they take kids from good homes. So say yep. you are an overworked mom and you sometimes have like mess all over your house. That's what happens. And instead of trying to get you help and support, they take your kids and put them in the foster care system. They don't have the right to do that, but no one, no one knows the right. So they take the kids and then you have to go to court and stuff to get your kids back because the justice system is fucking garbage. So And then they miss kids that could benefit yeah yeah taken. there's it's kids that still like, get beat up yeah so they're like over policing in one area and under policing in another yeah um and i, I mean social work has a huge history along with police yeah. <laughs> that I want. so so you know they kind of operate in similar systems i'm gonna say so yeah yeah, yeah. you need it it sucks because a lot of people um, adapt to their coworkers' mindsets. And it yeah. takes, there's not enough strong willed people to be like, no, you're doing a terrible job. Well, you and if you are, like and if you are, you're fired. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. you know, if your boss is in the mentality of all the people that have been working here have been fine and not causing trouble, and the new person is causing trouble, well, they're going to just fire you. Right. Right. And then, you know, you just you adapt to your life and surroundings because you need money to live. And capitalism is yeah. not a luxury. <laughs> it's not. I can do without that bullshit. That'd be yes. nice. So I guess I, it's me that's left with the luxury yeah. of yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with my Kindle. Uh, I've only had it for a year, but I read off of that every day. Like I cannot go without, and I would take that everywhere. It's like a support thing now. <laughs> like support <laughs> My support <link>. Kindle. <laughs> yeah. I wish I, like, see, for me, it's always, I don't know why, it's like, it's just hard for me to, like, just, I, I don't know, like, reading like that. Like, for me, I need, like, paper, and I need to smell it, and flick yeah. the thing, and, yeah, you know, like, I, I, I still need... love paper books, but this is, like, second best, so. Well, no, and it's great, I mean, it's better for the environment and you can carry a bunch more in a pot no like i i am yeah. totally pro kindle it's just i personally like i have one somewhere <laughs> i don't think i've ever used something in your room <laughs> i have too much stuff in my room i gotta get shelving or something no i love the idea of a kindle i just that's it. don't like it that's <laughs> That's it. Thank you for taking my thought and making it your words. <laughs> You're welcome. I used to hate the idea of e-readers. Um, I was like, I couldn't read off of them, you know, the blue light thing and everything. But I got this Kindle, it's like paper white, and it actually looks like paper, the yeah. way it is, which is great for my eyes. 
And uh, it was just so much easier. And then, like, I blow up the words so I can read them, you know, mm -hmm. so it's not, like, too small of print. You can get large and then I just for old people? Yeah, because I'm, I'm a senior. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. and, yeah, so, and now I just read off of that, and it's it's fantastic. I can't read off my phone, though, so still won't do that. Yeah. No, I'd love, I need my books. My books are all, like, a thousand pages, though, so, like, I could only carry one in my purse at a time. Yep. It's not. My husband's big into audiobooks now. He, like, got yeah. a subscription to yes, Audible. And he just wears his headphones and just does the dishes and stuff listening to an audiobook. I so. did that, too. I was doing that for a while. I love it. I can't. Audiobooks I are awesome. I hate the sound of people's voice. And then they try to do, like, character voices. And, like, <laughs> no, <laughs> like, your voice isn't fucking changing. Yeah, the narrator, you have to, ugh, there's some with, like, heavy accents, and I'm like, I can't, I can't get in the story because I can't get past your accent. Like, no. No, and then they don't read it the way I can envision it in my head. Like, I have, like, a very overactive, like, mind's eye. Like, I yeah. can, like, I can be having a conversation with you, and I can have a visual story playing in the back of my head with, like, pictures, audio, different voices, everything. But, like, so when someone's reading, I can't get into a book that way. It just ruins I it. do voices all the time. So, like, in my head when I'm doing voices, I sound closer to the voice that I'm trying to do that my voice just can't actually mimic. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. <laughs> like, I can't do them out loud. No. Yeah. Oh, I, I do it out loud naturally just because I, like, uh, with Lyric, Lyric loves, like, vocal stimming and stuff like that. So we do a lot of it, like, together. Um, it's funny because she'll try to, like, match pitch. Like, it's hilarious. Aww. But it's, like, um, so for me, like, audiobooks, <laughs> I, per like, personally, I would, like, if I listen to an audiobook, it's v a very specific one. One that, like, I, you know, I, I specifically want that, like, narrator. I want to hear their take on it. Um, but other than that, it's, like, I need to read. But my husband works with audio, and all he does is listen to things. And he's actually, like, he'd rather not read it. He yeah. rather listen to it. He takes in the information better that way. And he can listen to it like two, three times versus yeah. like reading yeah. it. So, yeah. So that's one reason. So, like, I see the pros to both. Yeah. But personally, I am a paper book girl. <laughs> I was like recently super disappointed in audio book. Um, it was um, one of like the Lost Realms from R.A. Salvatore. Um, and it was like advertise that there's like all these a-list fun geeky people reading it so i so it was like a book of short stories so i thought it was like going to be them doing characters in the book so i thought it was gonna be like kind of like you know a script kind of reading kind of thing and no they were just taking turns reading different stories i was so heartbroken <laughs> i just got an idea okay okay okay, okay. how about this is going to be a sneak, pre like a sneak little tidbit for you listeners out there. What if we like wrote a script, like okay. a book or okay. whatever, like that would be a short story. Long. Yeah. With three characters or multiple characters, we can do voices. And we just, <laughs> one of our episodes is just the story. That is yeah. fantastic. <laughs> we should, and, we, no? and we just read it and we're just like, yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. And because we, we're always like, oh, we should have like a sitcom of our lives. We exactly. should do like a sitcom. Like script. an audio sitcom. Yeah. That would be pretty fun, I think. Yeah. I think okay. we should do it. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> One day it will happen. One day we will do it. <laughs> if you have any ideas, <laughs> yeah, feel like free to check out our socials and DM us on Instagram. <laughs> Under yeah, like pick our shit. jobs, pick our names, and what our characters would be, and then oh, like be like three of us. I love. Yeah. So yeah. We just know they'll be drunks. That's it. Yeah. Like, Three lushes. Lushes. Maybe they I won't. Maybe there's one drunk who infects the other two. <laughs> like a parasite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> an, an alcohol enabler. Yeah. Wait. We'll literally name the script Enabler, and it'll be just one person enables the rest. It's Smirnoff 19. It's taking <laughs> over the world. <laughs> it's 2022. Yeah. I, I, Smirnoff 2022. I came up positive for Smirnoff. 
can't. I can't stop. <laughs> yep. Jeez. That's why you got to wear your mask so that you don't bring it to your lips. <laughs> like, like, oh, like stop it. It's like it doesn't protect you all the way. Obviously, a few like drops will still get through through your mask, but it's better than without a mask where all the Smirnoff would go down your throat. And where you end up drunk. <laughs> see? See the analogy there? Yeah, I saw. Yeah. And oh, I'm so glad Dom Marie was vaccinated. Oh because, God. Like you got it so bad. And like I'm I, so I happy. still have it. I know. Like, I like it's like I know. Like I lo- obviously lost family because of it. But like I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm so happy you did what you had to do. Like that's see, and like a lot of people yeah. are like, it's just a fucking flu. You know, 15 million no. people fucking died. Yeah. Yeah. That's a it's, lot of fucking people. That is. It's insane. Like yeah. And a huge and chunk of our population still is not like under five is not vaccinated at all. Yeah. Yeah. And they are the yeah. next, like the 60 plus are of course the highest hospitalized. And the next age bracket is under five. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just so like the numbers are so high. And there is still like there's still 80% of people trying to prevent it. But like even with the prevention, like there's still so much. And there, there's a lot of people stopping too. Like a lot of people didn't get the booster or aren't get, gonna get the fourth shot. You know, a lot of people are just sort of giving up in that way, or they're like, "Well, I'm vaccinated. I'm sick of wearing a mask, so they stop that." And a lot of people are just like, "Well, I stayed inside for two years, so I'm gonna go out and enjoy my life now." Because all the anti-vaxxers obviously didn't stop. Yeah, right? so <laughs> it's like, it. you know, so so many people are suffering burnout that they're just not continuing with the protocols. Yeah. It's just and, and I totally get the burnout. Like oh, it, yeah. it's exhausting. Like I didn't get my booster, not because I didn't want it. Um, I was busy like taking care of Caleb. He was getting every other virus before this, um, because he was in school and mm-hmm. he can't wear a mask because of the um sensory. Mm-hmm. So he was like the only kid not wearing a mask at the time before they lifted the masks. And so he was still getting sick and then bringing it home and giving me it because I don't go out. So I was only getting it from him. <laughs> and then COVID hit. And then, yeah. like, my whole house got wiped out. But, like, everyone else recovered really quickly. Except Just me. Just you. <laughs> Just, yeah. well, oh, Caleb has croup. So yeah. he's, you know, taking a little hit of recovering, too. But me, oh, it was bad. And then I just finally got on antibiotics because yeah. it went from viral to bacterial. And that's what people don't understand. Like, it doesn't just stick to viral. It can switch over, and then it gets really dangerous. Well, yeah, because it can cause infection and stuff. That's like, exactly I, it. For our listeners who have probably, who if you've listened to the past few episodes, Dawn's been sick because of COVID for about a month now. Yeah, yeah it's five terrible. weeks. Yeah. yeah, so that's like four episodes. It's probably number five. <laughs> you're yeah, like, you just talk about. You're, you've been, it was a week you've before been, Easter. Yeah, so you've been dealing with COVID like 50% of this podcast. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I'm still dealing with it. Like, I just got on antibiotics yesterday, and now I'm finally over it. Like, well, not over it. I'm still healing, but I'm getting better, finally. It's a a bones day. Is that reference still relevant? (laughs) No, it's not. But, you know, we're going to use it. I don't know what that means. (laughs) What? Say it to me. A Bones Day. What the fuck is Bones Day? Oh, okay. So, like, was this, like last Lazy. year? Yeah, last year, like, this guy had, like, a pug. that, And you know how pugs are always sick. They have, like, a million different diseases. Oh, yeah, they well, this pug was, great. like, really, like, really... He had something. Um, mm-hmm. So sometimes he would stand up and sometimes he would go... He'd fall <laughs> yeah. over. Um, yeah. So every day he would just make a TikTok where he's like, "Is it a Bones Day or no Bones Day?" And if it's a Bones Day, go live your life happy, do your thing, do go for the job and ask out that person and do all that. If it's a no Bones Day, maybe take it easy, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then he'd lift up the dog. Then the dog would either be a Bones Day or no Bones Day, and all of TikTok took that as gospel. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah. I think that I got was, into TikTok too late. Like, I always you missed all the fun late. stuff. I did. Now yeah. it's just like 
perverts. Oh no, there was I think you're on the wrong kind of TikTok to yeah, be it's honest. An algorithm, Sonia. That's not it's what an I algorithm. want. <laughs> I know, but like. I don't watch them. I scroll as fast as I can. Like, <laughs> Well, you watched one of them. You had to have watched at least 10 seconds of one of them for or, them to keep popping up. Uh, or she just keeps talking about pervs near her phone and it's just that's recording. Right. I'm picking like, it oh, up. That's what you want. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. I want the testicles. Barely. That's... Now I'm going to get oh. ads. For oh. <laughs> How many times have you said the word penis and then now all of a sudden like penises right. will pop up? I get so many weird Amazon <laughs> ads because I talk about too much stuff. I like <laughs> all the luxuries. <laughs> all the luxuries. Oh my gosh. I, speaking of those types of, like, my, so you guys know I lost, like, a box of fucking sex toys. On yeah, the as you were moving, they just, like, box. disappeared on the highway. Oh. So if you guys, anybody, 401, <laughs> and then... The highway something. If you're driving from Ontario to New Brunswick and you found a box full of goodie, <laughs> it's mine. Give it back. <laughs> it's mine. Did you just give it back? Like, you back. actually want the back now? No, oh probably my not. God. No, probably not. But I started a new collection and that's really exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Us women oh are God. lucky with all the luxurious sex toys we can buy nowadays. So yeah, and then like pink cherry, that's where I go. You get yes. points and stuff. Yeah, I'm not always getting like a hundred bucks off my order. That means I have a problem because you actually have to buy a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have any recommendations, send them my way. I haven't purchased <laughs> anything in a while. Yeah, I'll do the flood messenger for you guys. All, all of the sex toys tools yeah and if you're curious and would like a review just like (laughs) you know audience let us know maybe maybe we'll do that (laughs) yeah start reviewing them sonia like take a picture and review it no 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 we talk about it we share the link you know yeah i'm just saying i'm just saying well it's looking like we are almost out of time does anyone else have any anything to add no i'm good I was stuck with the the internet. <laughs> we the internet. would not be able to make this podcast without the internet. So No, we wouldn't. Super so important. thank you, internet. Thank you. Thank you, you internet. Zero you should be one. free for everyone. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it should be. Now. It really should. Yeah. Because, like, cell phones and stuff, nobody has a house line. I was going to get into a whole another rant. <laughs> <laughs> Save that for Save, next time. Save that for <laughs> next time. Okay. Uh, well, thank you so much for listening. Um, we are getting ready to launch our Patreon. So follow us on all of our social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok. Just search Opinionated Lushes, and we will post when that is out. Thank you. Anyone want to say goodbye? No, you don't <laughs> bye. these things. <laughs> goodbye. We didn't bye, say the guys. out. At all. We probably did and just missed it. I was listening. (laughs) Super good. (laughs) All right. Good night, everybody. Okay.